Hello everyone. I've just been gathering up some bits and pieces to uh, put in my bag for my craft retreat this weekend. I've got a long drive tomorrow. It's going to take me up, up to four hours, I think, to get to uh, the part of England where this is taking place. I, I live on the south coast, so uh, I've got anywhere really north is, is, is a good old journey. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today quickly was... Um, stencil material um, and in particular mylar. I've been saying to everyone I use mylar for my stencils and this is my last whole sheet of the mylar I have been using and when I bought it on Amazon it said it was 250 microns and it's been perfect for me I've been thrilled with it. Then you may have seen that I um, tried some Sizzix, what they call stencil film, which is not mylar at all. It's more like Finnish vellum. And I don't know how it would fare if you wanted to use it with texture paste or whatever, because I just sprayed a bit of this with a shimmer spray and that's what happened to it. So if you wanted to use a wettish embossing paste, I'm not quite sure how that would hold up. As a stencil so I'm going to use be using this as vellum rather than as as they suggest a stencil film anyway uh, needing some more my mylar I purchased some more from Amazon and this was also described as 250 microns now this is really stiff compared to this it must be I would think at least twice as thick so which one's right? Which one is 250 microns? What does 250 microns mean, in fact? I don't know, but this one is a lot thicker than this one. And when I, whoops, a pair of glasses just fell down. Um, when I tried to cut um, a stencil with some of this, I'm afraid it just made a dent. So I thought, oh dear, what's going to happen? This is obviously going to be a lot more robust than the stuff I've been using heretofore, but it's not going to be much use if I can't cut it. However, I tried a little messing about as I do. Um, I have got a Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine and I am using at the moment the original plates with it. I have bought a set of the elongated plates. They're just a bit longer and they're completely different thicknesses. So I don't think you can mix and match the old with the new. But one thing I did discover, these are the original plates for the Platinum 6. And I don't recommend that people do this necessarily. If you do it, it's your own risk. But what I tried was this. The precision mat from Sizzix. They say that this is for intricate thinlets. But when I try to compare the thickness of that with my base plate, to me they feel very similar. So I thought I'm not going to damage my machine by trying this. So I, would, I just want to show you um, with the regular plates and then using my precision. I'm putting it this way up so it doesn't dazzle you. Um, and the dies I want to try today are Sizzix. Uh, these ones. And with this set of dies, you can actually make yourself a layering stencil. Because... Just the leaf itself will cut an aperture in a piece of card or whatever. If you put the additional piece with it, it will cut out a whole leaf. So if you wanted to have just the shape of the leaf, you could cut that by itself and then you could use that as a base colour. Then you could cut out one of these, you could put that over the top and 
well, I can, I'll try and demonstrate a little bit if I can. But first of all, just let's see if we can cut one out. I'll try first of all with just the regular cutting plate that anybody had, would have with any, with any of your machines. So here is this thick stuff that it's just arrived from, from um, Sizzix. I'll just put one uh, leaf on it. This is the regular sandwich for, always makes a bit of a crunch when you try and um, die cut mylar. Let's see. And as you can see, it's made an impression. It's cut through an, an odd place or two, but not all through. Now, you could try with a shim, but what I would like to do is to try with my precision plate. So I'm going to put that into my machine. I'm going to take this down because I want it to stay in exactly the same place. Once I've done it um, with this um, space, I'm going to do it directly. Um, so you can see if it will cut first time with the precision plate. So I'm just going to take this down and I'm going to try first of all with the regular top plate. Just see what happens. Let's see if we've got through and it looks like we've got through because a piece has fallen off let us see yep with the precision plate this mylar has cut beautifully and can you see how lovely that leaf looks that would make a perfect um stencil if i just use this one by itself I could do a base layer. I could put it somewhere else. I'll put it up. Put it up here, and then I'll just explain what I what I'm talking about. Let's get rid of the bits. Okay. Yeah. Some, somebody said to me the other day that they'd got some mylar that it was was recommended at, at um, two fifty, but they couldn't cut it through. So let me just get a piece of card. Any, any piece will do. Here's a bit. All right. So if I wanted to, I could, let's get a blending brush. And have a couple of greens. Um, what should we use? Peeled paint. And something lighter, shabby shutters. Where's my? Here it is, shabby shutters. Let's try these two. So if I just do the light one to start with, don't know which one I used. I'll try this one. Okay, just like this. There we go. Now I could put that over the top. Get it out of my way. You can see through it. Use the darker one. And you could even use darker one again with perhaps a, um, a, bl a blender, a t small blending brush. Let's find some, where's Rustic Wilderness? Here it is. It's a darker one again. Let's blend that in a bit. And there we have got a layered version. You may want to do it the other way around. You may want the dark one um, on the outside. 
if you wanted to you know the world's your lobster i keep saying so uh, just a couple of things very quick as i say very quick if you want to cut thick mylar and you're having difficulty you can try using a shim but never go try and get through your machine if it feels too difficult your machine will tell you if it's if it's possible and i don't want you going breaking machines but this precision plate has done a brilliant job so there you go more stencils this particular leaf set is um called thinlets has it got a name i don't know leaf print leaf print it's called so uh, four different shapes you could make layering stencils you could make a, a whole thing um using these so very quickly i'm going back to my packing thank you so much for watching